let's talk about the standard template libraries set data structure. It really is a, a marvelous data structure. First, it's an associative container as opposed to a sequence container. We saw with the STD list that that's a sequence container where the sequence of or the ordering of the elements is the key feature of the data structure. Uh, in this case, it, it is not a key feature. Um, and instead, the elements are arranged uh, according to their association with one another. So they can be automatically inserted in the right, for example, uh, alphabetical order or numerical order. And that's done uh, very, very rapidly. So the data structure is really based on the association between the elements rather than a specific chain of pointers. Uh, so it is implemented as a binary search tree, which we cover later in the semester. Um, but you know that is something that looks like this that makes things very, very rapidly uh, uh, locatable uh, on the order of um, uh, uh, exponentially faster. Because it is implemented as a binary search tree, that does give us the capability of being bidirectional. We can go up and down the, the tree either way. And that shares the same property with the, uh, the STD list. And that's also bidirectional because of those pointers pointing both ways. Now, there are some incredible uh, pros to using the set. And that is, A, if you want an automatically sorted list, and B, if you want an automatically deduplicated list. So what do both of those mean? Well, sorted is sorted. It's also called ordered. Uh, get used to that term in computer science. And it is deduplicated. There are no duplicates. So we're guaranteed that every element in that list, uh, in that set, is unique. Now, the main con is that there is no random access. This means we cannot go and try and access a particular uh, element in this set by an index number. So none of the uh, the array nomenclature or the, the vector, or as we'll see later, the deck, we cannot do this. Uh, instead, we've got to use other ways to go and try and find these data structures. Now, um, there are some great applications of the uh, the STL set. One would be uh, to make sure that a system is accepting unique usernames only. And we've seen this before as we've gone to try and log into websites or to create accounts in websites that often our username that we desire is taken. So how is that done? Well, behind the scenes, that's just a big uh, set and a set being deduplicated. Uh, we're guaranteed that there are no duplicates in it. So we can check something against it and it's either there or it's not. Another great uh, place for a set would be as an event manager. So uh, let's suppose that we've got this system going. Suppose our event manager application uh, has just got to maintain a, a very clear, list of events that have happened, and each needs to be identified by a unique identifier. Uh, again, anytime that we want to guarantee uniqueness, uh, let's use a set since that deduplication is part of the data structure. So an event manager here, we would be guaranteed never to uh, deduplicate any of those elements. Now, another application would be, uh, for example, uh, real-time stock reporting. Suppose we have a stock and it's expected to perform within a certain range, but we want real-time alerting. Um, it, the time any particular spike goes up and down, um, we can just double check those prices against the list and uh, I'm sorry, against the set. And any time that a price is not in that set, then we can trigger an alert that way. 